Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna do this video that I got sent over the weekend by like a thousand people. So apparently the Doug Hurdy Dozen, or the Dag Hurdy Dozen, are on vacation again, and Alicia goes shopping again. And you know how much I love Alicia's shopping videos. So, and people are like, you have to see this one. It is the craziest thing you've ever seen because what happens after is insane. So the Doherty Dozen, I'm gonna tell you guys how the, like the inside secrets of what they're doing. How is she getting away with buying $5,000, $10,000 with groceries and all this stuff? You're gonna be surprised or you're not gonna be surprised, but you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. So let's go. So if you don't know what the Doherty Dozen is, this is new family vlogger that's kind of making big waves. Like they're making a lot of money. Um, Alicia, Alicia, or Alicia, Alicia um, spends a ton of money and she's like the super mom who wakes up at 5 a.m. and make 15,000 sandwiches and feeds her kids just a whole bunch of shit, right? And again, hypocrite, because I eat a whole bunch of shit myself, not gonna lie. But after watching her videos, I'm like, well, I guess I'm not that bad. I guess I'm kind of normal, but. And don't forget that Alicia said this. It's impossible to say we're exploiting our children for money when we have no money. Right? She says, we're poor. We have no money. Except she's buying, you know, at least two grand of groceries a week because the one that we saw was a $1,400 grocery bill. And that was before she went, and that was after she went to Costco. And she spends a lot of money on booze and the whole, you know, I've talked about their alcoholism and having kids inside your home with FASD. And for the most part, it's, and it's like 95% or even higher kids that come from these walks of life have FAS. That's just, that's just how it is. And the fact that she drinks a lot around them, the fact that her alcohol goes missing, that's a whole other story. It's crazy. But what you do know now, because of my video and a lot of other people's videos, is that they make a shit ton of money. She says about 40,000 a month. And I said eight, and I said way more than that, like six figures minimum in the two hundred thousands a month or more, right? I'm being very conservative with my estimate based on her numbers. So, um, sorry if you, if this is all weird for you guys. I'm actually in the RV right now. What I'm standing in front of is this, but you don't know that, so magic. The magic of cinema. Anyway, so how she does this, right, and how every family vlogger does this, and it, this isn't talked about enough, and maybe I need to make an entire video on this, but it's about the tax ramifications of being a YouTuber, right? So right now, I'm in my RV that I purchased, right? Yep. Yeah. We were talking, and she apparently used to work at some sort of barber shop or something like that. Okay. She gave me the best haircut I ever got from there, and she tapered my beard for half price. Okay. That's why you called me? <laughs> yeah, I thought you would think that was cool. <laughs> I'm putting this on my video, just so you're aware. Because <laughs> I'm filming it. I'm doing my video right now. <laughs> You're literally recording right now. Yeah, I am. Awesome. But I'm glad you got a half price taper. I mean, I'm so happy for you. I mean, I just go celebrate, man. Just, just. My beard looks so clean. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. I love it. <laughs> I love that you're excited about your half price beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. All right, bye. Nice. Uh, where was I? Okay, so I bought this RV because I needed a space because we're moving in about six to seven months. We're leaving and I decided I wanted a mobile studio and I wanted to be able to get on the road and do video and go all that stuff. So I decided to do this. I'm going to be changing up my studio anyway. And so this I can write off as a business expense, not a full business expense, mind you, because my family still uses it, I don't know, three times a year. But for the most part, I'm going to be setting up my studio in here and I'm really, really excited about it. I love this. It's a it's very old and we're renovating it right now. So you can't see it, but I'll show you on my Instagram. All that to say is that I can use that as a write-off. Again, not fully, but you know, I can write big portion of this off because I'm using it mostly for video. Maybe I'm gonna take my band on the road and come play for the dad, you know, the dad bod, um, dad bod band, and we're gonna come play some music and this will be used for that. So investments into businesses, as you know, if you do run a small business, you can write off a lot of things as long as they are part of the business, okay? When it comes to YouTubers, they do the exact same thing for everything. And here's how they get away with it. And I'm not sure if it's legal or if it's just a loophole, but I think it's legit. So what they do is they'll go grocery shopping and pay two grand, but she'll film the shopping spree, right? And that's why she does it a lot. 
because she writes that off. I don't know if the tax she gets back or whatever the case may be, but she can write off that entire grocery bill because it's part of her business because she filmed it. Just Fam goes to Disney 16 times a year. That's a write-off. The vehicles that they buy, these big vans, that's a write-off. Everything inside of a family vlogger's life that is part of the family, because the family is the business, is a write-off. And I'm talking clothes for the kids, okay? The $4,400 she spent at Dick's, that's a write-off. She did a video about it. Her kids, who are her actors on her channel, they're part of the business. They need clothes, they need food. That's a write-off. They need special anything. That's a write-off. I'm telling you, everything is a write-off in a family home. Rent, mortgage, electricity, internet, all of it is a write-off because it's all part of the business. Now, I'm not saying it all is 100% a write-off, but vacations, if they're filming it, write-off. And you know they got some pretty slick uh, money guys who are in there saying, hey, as long as you did it for videos and it's part of it, that's a write-off. Okay, it's all a write-off. Now, it does cost the money to do that. Write-offs aren't 100%, you know, you get it all back, but you get a big portion of it back in the end. If you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on, gro or on groceries, on vacations, on vehicles, on everything else, that's a big chunk of money you're getting back. If you employ a smart business, if you employ a smart numbers person, accountants, they know all the legal loopholes. Let's not forget the PPP loans that all the family vloggers took, which now Biden is saying he's coming after everybody, which I'm here for. You know, Sleepy Joe, he's... He's one foot in the grave right now, but I'm for that. Sleepy Joe, you go ahead and you get rid, you get, you take those PPP loaners down. So all these people have money people and they are all kind of in the same network and they're like, this is what you can write off. Even as a YouTuber myself, I can write off a whole bunch of things. I can write off travel. Um, if I go anywhere, food, if I'm eating while I'm going there, I can write off portions of my home, which are being used for business. I can write off this RV. I can write off my car to some degree if I'm doing live streams from it. Right. Um, I haven't yet, but I'm like, there's there's so many things you could do as long as you're filming it. So go back and look at your favorite family vlogger and look at all the things that they do. OK, all of it is a write off. And so Dockery doesn't it's doing the same damn shit. She is. But she is writing off everyday normal sh stuff. And the vacations are just ice icing on the cake. They get to do these vacations and they are business expense. The whole thing. So they can. Here's the thing about business expenses as well. You do get a portion of it back on your taxes, but you can take it out of your business account. You don't have to go through personal money to pay for these things, right? I have a business account. I purchase things that, you know, I'm buying a camera, or I'm buying a lights, that goes on my business account, it doesn't come on my personal account, and I use it as a business expense. Even though I am getting taxed for it, I am paying for it, the business is paying for it. So they buy a lot of shit and go on vacations and things like that, that their family gets to use, but it's all business expenses. So, and that's a, that's a different tax thing. That's what I think. Anyway, I'm actually going to get an accountant on and talk to you guys about this. I need an American accountant. One of you out there who watches me is an accountant. I'd love to get you on to talk about this whole thing and the loopholes that these people get to use legally to do it. I'm sure some of them are a little bit in the gray area and some of them are probably a little bit in the illegal area too, but they're just not being caught, right? Again, I'm saying all that because I want you guys to realize that every time she buys $2,000 of the groceries, she's using the Doherty Dozen business bank account, uh, you know, right? The corporation. She's using that to feed her family because she can. Very interesting. Now, I know if, again, I'd like to get someone who's a professional on to talk to me about how they can get away with this, but that's what I, that's my conjecture. I don't know. Anyway, Daggerty Dozen's on vacation somewhere and they're going shopping. This video is over an hour long, so obviously we're skipping, but what I'm going to try to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll ballpark it, is I'm going to get the caloric intake of everything she's buying and we're, she's there for a week, so she's the first day is already a write-off. They're not going to eat any of this food, maybe a couple things at night. So I'm going to, uh, based on the time that they're there remaining, I'm going to tell you the caloric intake of what she's buying for her family, right? And don't forget that they're probably going to get more. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a video where they go out to eat for the entire day. So they're traveling a lot. They're not taking their lunches with them. They're eating while they're out. So again, all this stuff you guys are seeing is a flex, and it's a write-off, and likely they're not even going to eat it. That's what I'm telling you. People are, are like, well, how are they eating it? They're not. So anyway, let's get this started. Hi, everyone. I'm Alicia. And Hi, Alicia. James with the Dockerty Dozen. Dockerty. And we are in Ocean City, New Jersey for our annual beach vacation with our family of 14. And today we just dropped the kids off at the playground with Josh. James and I are headed to the grocery store. We have James looks like he's really excited to be there to get all of the groceries why does james have to go 
groceries for the entire week for my family of 14 plus my mom and dad. So, so 16 people. 16 people. Let's not forget that Alicia doesn't even eat. She just drinks White Claws. Maybe she has a Pop-Tart or something. I've never seen her eat. Have you? Have you ever seen Alicia eat in a video? If you have, send it to me. I know she makes a bunch of food for people, but I've never seen her eat. Literally, she survives off White Claws. And this is like everything, like the toilet paper, the paper towels, the food, the drinks, everything. This is going to be a haul. So. Mm hmm. And I got the old Dockerty Dozen credit card. Brought James along to help me. Uh, yeah. So come shop with us. Okay. Remember this list that she did last time. And she didn't buy shit off the list. She bought all snacks. She wants you to see the list. And she'd be like, oh, look, it's a, it's a decent list. But she doesn't even buy the shit on the list. So bread, bagels, hot dog buns, hot dogs, sandwich meat, cheese. Cheese got to be there. Remember she bought 15 pounds of cheese last time? Bacon, pepperoni, reflux medicine. You know what? You might have to, you might be able to buy less reflux medicine if you just feed your kids a balanced diet. Just saying, I don't know. I think there's a lot of comments too about people coming after other creators and stuff like that for calling out the, the food choices she makes because they're looking for any reason to hate other people. I get it, whatever. I get it. I understand. But I'm going to tell you this because I came from this walk of life that yes, there is to a degree some semblance of getting your kids things to help them feel comfortable, right? But you have to weigh that over the overall health of your children, right? So if you're saying, well, I'm getting it for them because they all come from this and they need it to feel better, you know, the, the, to feel comfortable. Yeah, but in the end, if you kill your children with heart disease, that's not going to help them. So let's be real. People out there saying that don't don't come after her for what she's feeding her kids. Yes, yes. This is bad. This is bad. The, just from the haul that I watched, nothing good in there. Nothing. There's nothing that she feeds her kids that is good. She's like, oh, there's some fruit, but the fruit doesn't get eaten. Okay? Why would they eat the fruit and they have all the other shit? So people are actually saying, oh, well, they're, you know, she's buying comfort foods because they come from this. Okay, I'd be with you, but then she shouldn't also be drinking. Would we agree on that? So if you say she's doing this for the kids, then why is she drinking? No one seems to, her stands don't seem to care about that for some reason, which is really weird. Okay, so she's buying laundry detergents, dryer sheets, dish soap, sponge. They don't have this at the house you're renting? Okay. That seems weird. <clears throat> Unless you're like, are you staying at like, are you staying in a, in the woods? Fruit, veggies, onions, lemon, limes, uh, milk, OJ, eggs, sour cream, cheese, more cheese sticks, bricks of cheese. What's with the difference between the cheese and the bricks of cheese, lady? Yogurts, gogurts, cinnamon rolls, cream cheese, chip dip. Oh my gosh. Why do you even make a list? I don't understand why she makes a list. She's just going to buy one of everything anyway in the five of everything anyway. So her lists are garbage and her nails. She had toe thumbs. Here's our list. I tried to write down Let me see as the thumbs. Let me see them. Let me see them. Let me see them. We will need this week. Let me see them. Also, I'm in the RV, so I'm looking down this time. I usually look left, but I'm looking kind of down so you can see it's different. All right. They're going to Acme. Is that a thing? I thought Acme was like... Isn't that what like uh, Roadrunner in Coyote he made he bought his anvils from Acme? I didn't know Acme was a real thing. Again, we don't have stores like this. Acme Savon, Savon, Savon. Oh shoot! Do we get carts out there? Yeah, we gotta get carts. And someone said she did twelve carts, twelve carts, for one week. Let's see. It's up there. All right, let's each get a cart. Just Remember, her videos are so garbage that she just doesn't even edit. She just literally films the thing and then just uploads it. And her, her aspect ratio was wrong. Okay, that was the Hi, I'll take all those carts, thanks. Oh, uh, there's like six here. Yeah, I'm going to need some more after, but I'll take those, thanks. And then I'll walk through. This is, oh my God. Just cut some shit, lady. Just cut a couple things. Please. Holy, your carts have cup holders in them. Damn. I was at a store. I forget the name of it. It was in Michigan. It was blue. It was humongous. It was like a Walmart and a grocery store. I forget the name of it. It had phone holders on the front. Like little like adjustable phone holders. America. Better than Canada in some ways. Thank you. Okay. I'm F off, lady. Get wrecked. Let's get mayonnaise. Whoa, was that just bottles of Chick-fil-A sauce? Did I just see that? Why don't I get stuff like that here? Okay, we're going to start with drinks. Oh, here we go. 
here we go. Remember, I'm going to try to take a tally of of the caloric intake. Or I'm just going to mark down what she's buying here. So I'm open my notes. Groceries. Grockeries. Here we go. All right. This will be a lot. This will probably fill up two cards, actually. All right. I understand. So why are you buying bottled water? Aren't you staying at a place that's not your house that doesn't have normal water? So why are you buying bottled water again? You wasteful sloth of a person. Stop this. You're disgusting. Stop it. Your kids bought $130 bottles, refillable water bottles, just like last week. Where are those? Make them use every single one of your kids got a reusable water bottle. Why are you buying water again? Um, let's see. You don't need enough water, right? No. no. Take it all. We need about... There's a tap there, right? Drink that. Drink the tap water. It's probably fine. Unless you're in Flint, then don't drink the tap water. Three of these to start. Same kind of story. Yeah. Um, do they have the Fiji water? Yes, they do. What is the difference between... It's the same... It's coming out of the same tap, lady. Water. And... Ice. Oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, fast forwarding. Like, yeah, part water. Why do you need what do you need an array of water for? It all tastes the same. It's just water. First of all, also stop buying bottled water. Your carbon footprint is that of like is worse than Taylor Swift. <laughs> Sorry, Swifties. What have I been drinking? Life water, right? Yeah. It's water. So what is your yeah, yeah, yeah. Life water. Do you want some of these now? Yes, please. Okay. It's damn water. That six bag of water is probably eight bucks. It's because it says life on it. It's the same tap coming out of the same source, people. Okay. Like I understand if you're like walking around on vacation, you gotta take water. But isn't that why you bought hundred dollar, what are those things called? Those, I forget the name of them, Yetis? Your kids have Yetis and shit. You could put ice in those shits and that shit will last you 24 hours cold. You, you are the parent and you say, hey guys, I just bought like $800 worth of water bottles. Let's all bring our water bottles, everybody. And we'll just put ice in them and we'll put water in them from the tap. Yeah? Or just get, I don't know, one big bottle of water from the grocery store. Or 12 of them. I don't know. This is crazy. Gatorade. And you need Gatorade. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Get your uh, Canada drink. Oh my God. Just get the thing off the. Take it off the shelf! I'm gonna grab Pepsi, you grab Mountain Dew. Why is there cuts sometimes and then there's not cuts during the shitty times? What's what's she cutting out? It makes me wonder that if she leaves the most boring garbage in, what is she cutting out? All right, a 12 can of Pepsi. How many she gets first? Let's just find out. Pepsi. Just put your camera down so you can pick it up. Whoa, was that orange Pepsi? What? One. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 12 pack of Pepsi. Pepti. Come on, spell it, Josh. Okay, here we go. James is getting like every What is that? Do Lemon lime, 12 of Sprite. Right. And uh, Oh my gosh. Two case 24 Just Mountain Dew, 36 okay. Mountain Dew. Uh, you know, we'll get some root beer for the Twelve root beer. Kids. Think of the kids. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, no, th no. Seriously, uh, they're Alicia. Think of your kids. You're literally they're gonna have diabetes before they leave your house. Think of your kids, man. Everybody, again, you guys have to realize those people who are like, let her get what she wants. Kids, are you kidding me? <laughs> the, oh, I'm already, I, I'm already at just like the drinks, and there's probably more calories than they'll ever be able to eat, drink, and drink and eat in a day. By the way, yes. missing any yet? Pepsi. Oh my God, that's. <laughs> 12, 24, 36, 60, 72, that's 72 cans of soda, by the way, 72 cans, 16 people in this family eating at the, on this vacation, they already have 72 cans of soda, all right, okay, got it. Okay, he didn't text me back, so I... So he can suck your ass, just get him whatever the hell he wants, just get something. I don't understand who's going to drink all that soda, and you got... 
Are they even gonna drink water if they have soda? What is, what's your problem? All right, let's, I got Pepsi. Yeah, they got Pepsi, let's, um, chill. Yep, we found the juice aisle. You need, <laughs> what? You just bought 72 cans of soda, and now you're going to get juice. Okay. Here we go, maybe. The, the math on this at the end is gonna be, don't miss it, okay? Don't miss the math at the end of this video. I'm gonna go through the whole video, I'm sorry, it's gonna be like a two hour video. You guys don't care, let's do this. Here. Okay, what are you getting? Cool. You so don't need Sunny D, by the way. You don't need it. You have 72 cans of soda, so no, you don't. Because Sunny D is like one molecule away from like rocket fuel. So just be careful. Um, grab two of those drink bottle ones. Like the sports. Yeah. Okay, so two drink bottle. I'm going to say what? Two liters, four liters of Sunny D. Four liters Sunny D. Can you get our cranberry drink? Um, Get my cranberry, probably for her and her alcohol is what that's for. So let's not, let's be real. Juice and cranberry grape. Okay, hold on. I need tomato juice for Bloody Marys. <laughs> yes. uh, so every, again, that's another thing people keep coming after me at. They don't think that she's an alcoholic. And I read to you what the definition of alcoholism, and a lot of people were probably surprised by it. Um, I don't actually don't consider people who drink even like regularly during the week alcohol i wouldn't say that at all but i'm just saying some people can handle it some people can drink with and have no problems and can do it responsibly i just have never been around anybody who's drank responsibly so i don't have that experience it's my experience again my own lived experience doesn't mean it's your lived experience it's just what i take from it that's why it's my opinion right so but i think that alicia doesn't show you the times when she's absolutely smashed and i think it's going to come out eventually someday because I don't think that she probably gets a little bit giddy and happy. I don't think she gets like a belligerent or anything like that, but she's doing Bloody Marys on vacation with kids. So let's just remember that. Pick it off! Okay, no, he didn't grab bottles. He grabbed semi-bottles. That's the big, the biggest one they have. Yeah. Show them it to me. I guess they looked bigger to me. 15 pack of Sunny D. How big are they? No, the Sunny Ds. So let's get... 30... Okay. 30 bottles of Sunny D. 30 bottles. It's, um, two more of these. These yeah. looked, yeah, these looked bigger, but. Two more! Alright. Now get the juice. Okay, cranberry grape juice. This is equivalent to Harley. What do you, what? You're buying four of them. No, you're not getting more. No, you're not. No, you're not. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. Oh, let's get like some juice boxes. Oh my God. 60 bottles of Sunny D. 60. Six, zero for one week. And 70, what did I say, 72 cans of soda? Six liters, or like that's almost like eight, that's probably 1.5 liters. That's like nine liters of cranberry grape juice that's full of sugar, and then a tomato juice? What is, what is going on here? Who drinks six liters of juice in a week? Even if it's, what? What am I seeing? No, you don't need, no, you're done with the juice, Alicia. Get out of the damn juice aisle. I'm calling the police. The oh my, she's, she's trolling me, right? She's trolling the people that are coming after her. She's doing this on purpose. No way. Guys, I'm sorry. No way. Your kids need to just drink water only. Like detox time for a month. Water only. That's it. Get an apple. So let's get one of these and one of these. Okay, 60 Kool-Aid jammers. Oh my god. Like I'm serious. There's like diabetes doctors watching this and they're like <laughs> You are out of your freaking Oh my god. 24. We can put those on the bottom. 48 Gatorades. Just leave it right there for a second. Okay, we're going to be getting about 10 shopping carts of stuff. You're there for a week, and Justin drinks. Okay, I'll get all the math after this. It's gonna take a while. I have to do all because I have to f Google the caloric intake and all that kind of shit, the sugar intake. I can't wait to do the math on this. This is gonna be amazing. So let's just keep going. 
Um, do you want us to just pile them up up front here? Sure. Okay. Are you? You don't look. Is this for space camp or something? All right, we're going to try each of us having two parts at a time now. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, my God. No. All right, we're going to do cereal next. All right, you're on vacation for a week. I've done lots of week vacations. You, All you need, you got, what, 12? Not everybody's going to eat cereal either. Three boxes maximum. Maximum. Is all you need for cereal. So, what should we get? What to get? What to get? I know that we need syrup. Of course, you so need let's syrup. Get that. And she's gonna get two of them. You watch. Mrs. Buttersworth. Okay, two Mrs. Butterworths. Oh, uh, just for a bit, please. Shredded. What do you say? Is right there. So pick which kind you want. Kiwi. Strawberry. Regular mini. Two of them. Did you just say? I do that all the time. I know. It's really annoying. All right. Definitely cinnamon toast crunch. Okay. Cinnamon toast crunch, and that's the large size. Times two. Oh, I forgot a cart. Yeah. I'm not doing good with this double cart thing. Strawberry <laughs> mini wheats. And I saw a different one in there, didn't I? I missed it. Some Reese's. Reese's cereal. No, I'm going to get frozen pancakes. Of course you are. Got to get Bodie his cookie crisp. Cookie crisp. Okay. All crunch berries. All crunch berries. berries. Amateur. Okay. And Fruity Bubbles. And then um, Lucky Charms. Do you see Lucky Charms anywhere? There's Lucky Charms over here. Fruity yeah, Pebbles. Oh my god. Oh my sense. god. There's no way. There's no way! Just one. Just one. Um, just one. Why do you need a large size? Um, let's get one with marshmallows. They like that too. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think here. And they're all large size. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I guess just grab some of those. Oh, there's all kinds of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what he likes. What is it? Whole thing in here. Just put the whole box in here. What kind was it? We're black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are busy exploiting our children for cash. What do you guys do? We exploit kids. Well, that's nice. I guess. Okay, see ya. <laughs> okay, we need granola bars. Okay, granola bars. Dip. Um, Try chewy dips. Uh, no, we haven't really been eating. Pop-tarts. My God. Oh, and fruit snacks. Fruit snacks and Pop-tarts. All your kid eats is fruit snacks? That's bad for you. Stop. I don't remember. That is like wipe out the store. Sorry, I can't do a third. I feel like I'm too. All right. Twelve. Okay. Twelve frosted s'mores, Pop-tarts. Oh, my God. I cannot believe what I'm doing. Again, this is like going to be a ballpark. If I miss something, it is, it is what it is. It's going to be negligible if it is. Oh, here's like 40 packs. See? I just want to these ones back. Yeah. I buy a 40 pack of Welch's for my kids, and it lasts them two weeks. I know I only have two kids. Two weeks. One box. They're about to buy two boxes. Ah, let's get this 40 pack. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Welch's. Okay, so I'll adjust that. Welch's 40 pack. I don't know. No, if it's not in your, she's not even looking at her list. Uh, maybe, I don't know, grab one of everything. I love those ones, but they don't. So do you want those ones or no? No. <laughs> I don't. Is nobody else concerned? I, I, I mean, we're only at snacks and drinks. And already, like, my teeth hurt. Like, I can't, I can't breathe anymore. Like, I'm going to be, like, how do these kids sleep? How, like, I don't understand. They, there's literally nothing they eat that's good for them. Nothing. Not not one thing. And you don't think that's going to add to their anxiety and everything else that's going on in their life? <laughs> that's crazy. This thing's crazy. Need to eat for All right. You grab that. I'm going to get coffee. Got another part I get it. I get it. Okay. I'm not going to write that down because it probably has zero calories, but I don't care. All right. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do snacks next. You what? You just 
did snacks. What do you mean, snacks? Uh, what? So, let's fish. get regular. That's cute. Regular goldfish, rainbow goldfish. Gold. Fish. No, I think you guys like. No fish. whole grains. No, no, that's okay. Yeah. Large boxes. Three of each. Okay. What are you teaching your child right here? This kid is literally just in goldfish alone. That could feed my family for a year. A year. I this is for a week and this they're already there. So it's less than a week they're feeding their kids with this shit. Holy shit! Before I forget, I gotta get rice for seafood night, so I'll do that now. Yeah, better get some rice. Like I'm not gonna, okay, so look. We go I'm not gonna put the condiments in. Even though, yes, it is a little caloric intake, it's just not gonna put the, okay, I'll, I'll forgive those ones. Food night. Ali, Oh, 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 Oh my gosh, that's expensive. I don't know. $30? Okay, here's the thing, if you're doing one meal, why are you looking at the massive, you just need this much olive oil. Like get a little tiny travel size bottle of olive oil. You do not need a big jug of olive oil. And if she does get a big jug of olive oil right now, I'm gonna tell you, waste. They're just gonna waste shit. Look where she's going. Why do you need a gallon of, oh shit. Why are you grabbing a gallon of olive oil for one meal? It's one meal, lady. This shows you that she just doesn't care. There's no thoughts going into this. Nobody can live like this. They have like a multi, like a bigger pack than that. Yeah, three forks. What is wrong with you? Are you someone drinking that out of the bottle? We'll wait and see if they have different, yeah. different. Why don't you just take shit from home? If you're getting all this stuff and you're gonna haul it back home, why don't you just grab your shit from home? I don't, do they have a trailer? Why? Listen, I have to come back. All right, let's go no, they're not. They can't even put the shit in. They're gonna waste all this. On the chips aisle. It's just potato chips. Yeah, there should be more kinds of chips. Why do Americans call chips potato chips? It's just chips, okay? Chill. I love cocktail sauce. I literally eat shrimp as a vessel to eat cocktail sauce. <laughs> Straight up. Don't get an oil dressing because that would be healthier. Make sure you get a fatty, oil-based disgusto. You know, don't get a vinaigrette. Don't get a vinaigrette to, you know, that's just better. Get Make sure you get an oil-based disgustoid one. You're used, you're used to like wet ones brand. Okay, here's Hidden Valley Ranch. Hidden Valley. Um, that Wishbone Italian tastes pretty similar to Wegmans brand. Oh, Wishbone? Wishbone. Wishbone. Oh, we'll get Dash's raisins. Oh yeah, get some raisins. Ew. And you feed your kid raisins? Like I needed one more reason to hate. Alicia. Raisins. Kitch. Give your head a shake. Gotta get Dash's raisins. And also, Dash apparently has literally 40 snack packs of Welch's, so good. Nope. Nope, there's just no, there's no effing way, man. There is no effing way. I think I'm just gonna fast forward to this. I'm gonna write it all down, but you guys will see me fast. So she's like, Dad wants this. He's making martinis. He's making all these other. So it sounds like. Alicia probably is, you know, capturing that from old da dear old dad. Alright, this is what I wanted. I wanted like the lunch. Time. Here we go, the chips. Here's another thing too that's really bugging me. There's no rhyme or reason or grocery store shopping, right? This is different than the last time, which is different than the time before that. So it's not even that. She again, that's how you know this is probably mostly fake. And thank God it probably is because there's no way humans can ingest this type of food on mass like this. I know it's just a week vacation. Nope. So it's just, there's no run. She keeps changing everything that she's buying. All right, do you want the Doritos okay. Cool Ranch, not cheese Doritos? Yeah, let's get a Cool Ranch. What Cool Ranch do you want? Why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I mean, I would definitely have some Tex-Mex. Oh my God. What? Oh, that? Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit, lady. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. She does like those. What in the fresh oh. hell? I, I shouldn't be surprised, but I keep being absolutely... What? There's so much shit in here. 
I don't even know what she grabbed. I just missed what she grabbed. Oh my god. There's no way. Does each kid get three bags of chips for themselves? Big bags of chips? Is that what's happening here? Right there. To your right. There was three things of... Well, there's probably another section too. There's just, come on, no, no, no. You need three family size boxes of Cheez Its for one person who likes Cheez Its? How does that make any sense? She only get one box. They're only there for a week. Yeah, that's what you want the cranberry juice? Okay. You, you already have, have juice, bro. Yeah, it's in one of our fresh carts. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so now. Where? No. We need napkins. Okay, I'm gonna skip by all the stuff that's not food, okay? Because it's gonna save time. Thank God. Of course, they're wasting plates and plastic. Of course, they are. What else? That's what yeah, they do yeah, normally. I don't know. Whatever kind of pasta you guys want for dinner on. Oh my God, I'm concerned. Well, uh, Tuesday. They're like a leader. Yeah, and then we also need... I'm just going to write all cheese. pasta down. So there's six, six things, of, there's eight things sense. of pasta. I know, right? He's, he's trying to talk me into making homemade mac and cheese. This is my vacation, James. I'm taking the week off. No, you're not. You're buying the same shit you buy every day. You're not taking a week off of anything. This is the same shit you buy every single week, except this is insanity. You're only there for a week. You're only feeding two extra people. What is wrong with you? And you only need a small thing of salt and pepper, right? For, like, that shit should last you ever. She's about to probably buy a liter of salt and pepper. <laughs> that was $34. Like, why do you need that much pepper? Look what, she's gonna pick up the big salt. You don't need that much salt, you're only there for a week! And another black pepper. What's wrong with you? Where? That's yeah, what you should get, a little one. Did you see it? Right here. Oh my god, what a waste. Yeah, grab a bunch of... Here we go, here we go. Snack packs. You don't need a snack pack, you got a banana. Okay, two, four, six, eight. That's my pudding right here. Eight packs. That's all his pudding, apparently. Eight packs of snack packs. I'm gonna get stuff to make s'mores. Yeah, just what you needed, s'mores. Good idea. I'm like overwhelmed right now because I'm gonna have to literally Google all of this, okay? And math it all out for calorie intake, sugar intake. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do sugar and calories, that's it, okay? Maybe I'll just do calories, keep it simple. And then I'll have to come back because literally it's gonna take me an hour. I am, I'm dedicated though. This one's for you guys. You know that chunky chicken noodle she like? Oh, yep. I found it, it's over here. There it is. Chunky chicken. How many she's getting? She's gonna get two, you watch, two. She's gonna get four of them. Six. Six for one soup. kid. Six so cans of salt soup for one kid. Six cans. She's such a liar. It's so fake. This is good. That's good. Yeah. Tuna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not eight cans. I'm sorry. Twelve cans of tuna. Great. Yeah, I'm sure you can have ramen. Is there? Yeah, there is. Ramen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is it, Maruchin? We're just talking in circles because this store makes no sense to us. Oh, yeah, does it? You know what makes no sense is the amount of shit you're about to shove into your kids' faces. That doesn't make any sense. I don't, you guys can come at me all you want. These people are like, don't shame them. I'm shaming her right now. This is mind blowingly unhealthy to the point of abuse it is you are there's just no way that there's any sustenance in here except for tuna is the only thing in here like that's worth eating okay at some point it's malnutrition right can we at least be there i know she buys apples and bananas but you think after what she just bought there should last their family over a month 
and they're only there for like six days. So I'm telling you that I'm making the allegation. This is low level abuse based of based on mal malnutrition. And malnutrition meaning that you're not giving them any nutritious food, that you're only feeding them junk and cancerous toxicity. Okay, oh, here we go. Again. Why are you buying headphones? Like your kids don't have headphones. Oh, there's the rest of the s'more stuff. All right, here we go. Two packs of, okay, three, three packs of Hershey's chocolate bars. Each pack has six. It's 18 chocolate bars. Oh my God. Hey, can you grab two more boxes of oh, graham sorry. crackers, please? Anyway, four boxes of graham crackers. My bad. There's just no way, man. I just don't have the girls' box. Again, guys, it's just, just she's trolling. She has to be trolling you. She takes all this back after. And just like, just jokes. The boys' body wash. I don't have You didn't bring girls. your... Kids don't bring toiletry bags full of their stuff. You're just going to buy... What a wasteful disgust are you? Why are you wasting so much? You're so wasteful. This is so frustrating to watch, guys. Oh, my God. Is this how you all are? I know you're not. I'm just saying. This is like what people think of America, by the way. You don't have laundry baskets for staying? What the hell? What a waste! Awesome. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Candy time. No. You already have more sugar and chocolate and candy than you'll ever possibly consume in a lifetime. And he's just picking up more. Who buys black licorice? That's just, no. Okay, here we go. Um, hmm. Where's like the, oh, there we go. Oh, where's the giant size one? Okay, two, what size are these? I can't even tell, but they're the massive family size. Okay. What's that? Oh, Twizzlers. And then a family size pack. Peanut butter M&Ms. Oh. Obviously the family pack. That big one. Love those. Okay, York peppermint patties. Huge pack. Just one, man. Yeah, I like York too. Oh, let's get some Twix for Alex. Yeah, let's get some like Twix. Get some Twix. Let me go find the giant chocolate bars. This guy's walking by them like I'm calling CPS right now. Dad wanted like the kind that you put over the stove, oh, but I don't see it. Why do you need so many? What do you? What are you doing? Does each kid get a bag of popcorn a night? What's wrong with these people, man? Josh, some beef jerky. Your beef jerky is so cheap. Holy shit. That bag of beef jerky here is $12. Let's see. The original. Yeah, old. Yeah. Shoes. Let's get the big thing. And then. There's just. Guys, I, I have to check how long they're there. Just no way. No way. They're not even in meat and bread yet. They're not even halfway through this video. And they have so, I, I, the list I've written down is I've never seen anything like this. I've never in my life ever seen anything like this. Uh, I don't know. He's They're just, again, it's, oh, does it do we still do something? You're not even making sense. None of this shit's on your list. Back back. Oh, okay. What is that? What is it? What was it? Two family packs of Chips Ahoy. I don't know what he put in there. There's sour, sour crawfish, sour Sour candy. More cookies. Okay. I'm rec I'm going recon for cookies. This kid right now, just so you guys are aware, is getting massive dopamine hits by doing this. This is this is how this shit happens. Okay, this kid is addicted to the stuff that he's eating. Okay, he's also addicted to the feeling of shopping, getting whatever you want. This is something they never got to do before until this channel started taking off. Now they're doing it. This is new to them, relatively new, and it's like. This kid is like dopamine hits out space right now. Ah, we found the cookies. Oh, there's Nilla wafers, James. You weren't, oh, here's the, you want Nilla wafers? Everybody's like, tell me I have to have Nilla wafers. Wait, get some Oreos. Sure she got at least two of those, right? Always go. Party size. Party size, weird. Party size double stuffed. Oh, can see those? Oh, just one or two. Yeah, just one. 
Yeah, they always look bigger. What is that? Yeah. What was that? Okay, family size Ritz. Times two. This is mind blowing. Oh, big jugs of animal crackers. So huge tubs of, and two big jugs animal crackers. It's craziness. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, you know what? Oh, I need more cookies. You know what? Oh, I need saltines. Guys, we are officially about halfway through this video. I'm, sk I'm skipping. I'm skipping through fruit because I'm not gonna add it to calories, even though I should. But I hope they eat this only. Okay, just for just for shits and giggles, we're gonna go. We're gonna go like I don't know. There's probably ten pieces of fruit. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pieces of fruit. And then probably another twenty bananas. All that stuff's negligible because I don't think I think the kids are only gonna eat the corn. That's literally the only thing. That's calorie. That doesn't do anything for you. Okay. All right, here we go. I need the three gallon jar of peanut butter. So creamy peanut butter. That looks like a liter of peanut butter. It's insane. People are gonna die. I don't know if we would go through five pounds of peanut butter. You're not gonna go through that peanut butter. Oh my gosh, they have goober. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, Smucker's goober, whatever that is. Smucker's goober. Looks like it's peanut butter and jelly mixed together, which I'm in for, just so you guys are aware. I've never had that. That looks amazing. <laughs> Dang, America. I mean, I think maybe we even have that. I don't, we don't have Smuckers, but I think we have something like that. I've never had it. Damn, Smuckers strawberry. Good. Like, you couldn't bring this from home? All right, we're going to have easy dinner. Oh, are you? Because you're not going to be... How are you going to even get dinner with all the snacks you bought? Bread for sandwiches. And she never... Okay, um, by the way, all the money she has, why don't you buy good breads? I said this last time. Get the grain breads with like the seeds in them, delicious. The stuff is delicious. I don't think the kids realize how delicious the good stuff is. She can afford the good stuff, and yet she gets the bleached garbage. One. Okay, we got some bagels. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. White bread times five. Fucking <laughs> crazy. Uh, f three bags of bagels. No, we're getting the kids McDonald's for lunch. But I You're literally about to buy thousands and thousands of dollars worth of groceries and then you're gonna go to McDonald's? Right, I got it, understood. I'm gonna grab something for Josh and I'm here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the video after. They go to McDonald's for lunch, then they get burgers and fries for dinner. It's the same thing! Why are you walking with a sandwich? Just put it in there! Oh my God, that meat was $12.18. So I'm gonna put in like, let's just say four bags of cold cuts. And it looks like it's like 300 grams a piece. Serving dinner after the something or other. Oh, we're not even at the cheese yet. The just came up because uh, we hit a certain total and we had to cash out half of our order. Some, some stores do that, like you hit a certain amount. And you yeah, because they're like, hey, I don't want you to go through there and take six hours off one cash. Douche weirdo face with eyebrows that look like that. Okay, no. Can't go any higher than that. So they're cashing out half of our order now while we finish shopping for the second half of our order. You're literally buying so much food that you hit a total of a grocery store it can handle. There's just no, I, I, impossible that there's just no way. Two gallons of vanilla almond milk. What's that? What's the matter? Pull in the middle of that. And chocolate. Do you see chocolate almond milk? Oh, we'll have to get the silk kind. Oh, you do? That's fine. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I want orange. Oh my god, what is that one? Yo Crunch Oreo yogurt. Yo Crunch Oreo low fat yogurt. <laughs> There's like 25 of them in there. Make that 40, Gogurt. This is me. I couldn't even imagine the amount of toilet paper this family goes through. M&M's yogurt. 
things, and it looks like there's four of them in there. Four M&M yogurt. Vanilla. Vanilla. So eight, eight of them. There's no way people aren't walking by judging this lady. So we'll buy lemonade on the boardwalk. So this is a um, bowl for some orange if you There you go. You picked it. You don't, there's no way you need more juice. I might take some yogurt, okay? Some what? Yogurt. Yeah, what kind do you want? What is this? Chobani? Chobani flip cookie dough. Three of them. Oh my god. Sorry, six of them. I have to take a breather. The <laughs> she knows, right? She's just trolling. Everybody, please be with me. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Eight of them. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. There's like 12 of them. Excellent. Get some eggs. More Chobani. Okay, so there's 14 Chobani cookie doughs. Orange cinnamon rolls times three. Yeah, that's it. They're out of the regular ones. So we'll get four of the orange ones. They like the orange ones. They're good. Good stuff. There's for the beach. Are you really in the snack aisle? Another snack aisle? How many snack aisles are in your stores in America? Huge box of Hot Pockets. 12. Prize. Oh, yeah. Crinkle cut. It's actually pretty sick. Yeah. It's actually going to grab a sausage. Six pizzas. Seven, seven pizzas. pizzas. Lunch one day. Seven pizzas. For kids, there's 10 kids, seven pizzas. There's most, and there's a lot of little kids. Seven pizzas? I'm judging you. Oh, sorry, eight pizzas. Just got eight pizzas. I wanna get some frozen vegetables, but I can't see what these are. I'm sure you're gonna get frozen vegetables. Yeah, grab those last two boxes, will ya? Thank you. Stop throwing things at me. Six, okay. Uh, <laughs> Holy did shit. I knew these were pancake good. sausages. I know. They Jimmy Dean so pancakes so and sausages. Wanting, huh? I'll try it. I'll try it. It could be good. I don't know. They're not like corn dogs. They're like better than corn dogs. No, I don't either. Okay, we'll get toaster strudels. You have Pop-Tarts! You have Pop-Tarts! 24 coming there, so that's good for one breakfast. Okay, yep, we just need one box of that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Frenchies, Maurice. That's it? Yep. What's that other kind there? There you go. Uh, no. Nah. I just looked up being watch, right? All right, we need Uncrustables and Nuts. Garlic bread for pasta. Texas toast. Okay. New York, Texas toast. Texas toast. Who makes it? New York, Texas toast. TJI Friday's mozzarella sticks. Yeah. This looks kind of good. What will my kids do without Uncrustables for a week? They'll eat all the other shit you bought and probably die. What do you mean, what are they going to do without? What the hell is an Uncrustable? You are a Crustable. The freezers. We have Where they get like 24 of those Klondike bars? Oh, okay. okay, and then two boxes of drumsticks and sugar um. cones. <laughs> I thought you meant to like verify my card. I'm like, okay. Oh my God. Never in my life. Okay, again, if you're going away for a month, two months, that's what you get. 
pull up so we can load everything in. Is that the water they bought or is that just on the side? Oh, you got chairs. Yeah, I got four chairs. Oh, I see them, I see them. Okay. What? What the hell is this? Are they at the liquor store? Oh my god. So I'm gonna, oh, she got white claws, I'm gonna laugh. How much? Oh. <laughs> How many is she gonna get? Okay, let's count, let's count. Wait, I didn't see it. Okay, Alicia. Everybody's calling. Oh, she's not an alcoholic. She just bought three cases of white cloth for one week. Guys, if she drinks three cases, I don't, people are like, oh, there's only a little alcohol in it. It's not. That shit's got 4.5% alcohol, I think, something like that. That's not nothing. That's a lot of alcohol for one week, and that's not all she bought. So she got wine. Vodka. For what, vodka. Like, how much drinking are you doing? That's a lot of drinking. You have to take care of your kids. Don't forget that part, okay? Don't forget. What the fudge? What do you celebrate vacations? Is that what you're celebrating? Boxed wine, hard seltzer. Oh my god! Last stop. James and I just grocery shopped for the whole week. Your ice cream's melting. Uh, acne. Yeah, we're here for we're we're from New York, Rochester. Why is she telling people where she lives? This guy's like, oh, one week, eh? Okay, sounds good. Calling the cops. Okay, just check it in, buddy. Hurry up. Three hundred and forty dollars worth of booze for one week. Is that a lot? I don't know. All right. I Holy shit, Alicia! Relax, Alki. James has the box on his lap. I He's one hundred and eighteen percent done with the shit. I don't even know how we would have brought Nevaeh. Nevaeh was gonna come with us, and then Josh made it. Where the f are you gonna put that? You're in a vacation rental. Where are you putting that? The week. Um, Josh walked the kids to McDonald's. They had lunch already, and then uh, they were walking back to the rental house. So we're meeting them there. We're hoping to get into the rental house very soon. Your ice cream melting. The original check-in time was four o'clock, but um, the homeowner was there, and she said it should be sooner than that. So hopefully, so all of this stuff doesn't melt. You uh, idiot. Um, all right, here's okay, the second receipt from Acme. Right no, give us a minute. We'll unpack in a second. I was about to say. Yeah. Um, let me She's so proud of this flex. I can smell it. Thousand bucks, okay. Receipt. And here's the receipt from Circle Liquor. So a thousand two. Where's the first receipt? So we got Where's the first receipt? Okay, so this is the this is the list that I that I'm gonna go research, the caloric intake of everything that's here. Okay, and I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you guys the caloric intake of what she just bought for one week's vacation, and it looks like she spent something like three thousand dollars on this food. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That literally took me an hour and a half. Okay, and now we're gonna calculate, and I didn't even calculate everything. I didn't calculate the fruits and veggies at all, the meat, none of the meat whatsoever. I basically didn't calculate anything that was actually sustenance. So you can ballpark that after. I just calculated the garbage in the cart. So get ready, let's do this. Just the Sunny D is 10,500 calories. And the cranberry grape juice, she bought six of them, 30,000 calories, if I calculated it right which I think I did, because I went right to the grocery store's website, found the product she bought, and it has all the nutritional value right there. Really, really convenient. Just in the drinks that she got at the beginning, we're at 62,748 calories. Hold on, we're not done. Applesauce is that high of calories. So I didn't put the pickle spears in. I couldn't find the two jugs of pretzel bites that he bought. So I don't know what it is. I didn't put it in. And guys, don't forget, I'm only doing calories, not sugar or salt. So take it, you know, take it. I didn't get the fruit, the bananas, the three pounds of peanut butter. I didn't get that, even though I know peanut butter is really high in calories. Couldn't get the French vanilla delight creamer. Couldn't get the sour cream out. The hell of a good tip I got. 
I didn't get the cream cheese, didn't know what it was, couldn't find it. Yo Crunch, whew, 446,874 calories. Okay, so let's go to the website. Daily caloric intake. Meal intake of calories varies depending on age, metabolism, and everything, but it's about 2,000 and 2,500. For 2,000 for women, 2,500 for men. Okay, and so they've got 16 people eating, right? This is going to end... Oh my God, I've been doing this the whole time without my microphone. So I just did all that and the microphone was over there. So, sorry about the numbers. But basically, she's got 446,000 calories. Um, i got to do that all over again. Okay, so all that list ended up being 446,000 calories uh, around... Uh, but I was very, very conservative in my estimate. And so I'd say safely 500,000 calories. Now, I wanted to show you one more video quickly. Um, this is what they did after shopping. Here's what my 12 kids ate today, day one in Ocean City. We got Dunkin' Donuts and fruit for breakfast. Donuts for breakfast with breakfast sandwiches. McDonald's for lunch. McDonald's. Like 100,000 calories right there. I stuck. You know what pisses me off about this is that like these kids are probably hungry. And she's like, wait, we have to film the pile of food before you get it. It's going to be cold by the time they get it. And cold McDonald's french fries can kiss my ass. The vacation rental pantry with snacks. Again, I uh, underestimated. Like, there's way more than I thought. There's, I didn't know there's that much spaghetti sauce. There's way more. I like a very, very, very underestimated. And fruit. Kids aren't eating fruit, you liar. Acme gave us free donuts. Um, that's that's very nice of them. So you have donuts for breakfast, donuts for lunch. You had bur like breakfast burger sandwiches for breakfast. Then you had McDonald's burgers and french fries for lunch. Awesome. Okay, awesome. And burgers, donuts. Fries and, tots from Tony and then you had fries and burgers for dinner. Oh, it's great. Excellent. And the kids grabbed something from the freezer for dessert. I only estimated 24. There's way more than 24. So I pfft, add another 100,000 calories to that. So your daily intake of calories per person is about 2,000 calories. The older boys probably need a little bit more. They're bigger boys. Let's give them 3,000. So the estimate they might need overall for the entire week, okay, the entire week is probably around 180 to 200,000 uh, calories. She bought and had just showed us about 600,000 calories worth of food. There's no way they can eat it all. There's just, it's impossible, physically impossible for a human to eat that much food. I'm telling you this is child abuse. Okay, it's great that you can take kids out of their troubled situations, but if you're not teaching them good things like healthy eating habits to help them for their futures, all you're doing is setting them up for like heart disease, diabetes, and, and, and eating shitty foods is not good if you already have anxiety and everything else. Like you're not going to get proper sleep and anything. I'm sorry. She's not doing this right. This is bad. I don't care if you guys think I'm judging her for her food choices. I'm judging her for a few choices. And again, I'm not, I don't make the best food choices, right? But we try to give our kids a healthy, balanced diet when we can. We give them good choices. We make good food. We order our food and we cook it. We have cooked meals. She doesn't do any of that shit. The reason why she doesn't is because she wants to just feed them shitty, toxic, easy stuff to make so she can down her White Claws. She literally bought three cases of White Claw and like 10 bottles of alcohol for one week. This is not conducive to a smart woman who is raising kids with traumatic parts of their life. Again, I'll go back to the beginning. Most of these kids probably have FAS. Okay, most of them do. So the fact that they're just pounding drinks all the time is so irresponsible. She talked about her dad making the drinks. So all four adults are all drinking while there's a bunch of kids there. Do you think that's smart? And a lot of these kids have trauma. And a lot of these kids come from trauma from drinking alcoholism and drug abuse. So it's going to be triggering for a lot of them and they don't seem to give a shit. This woman is a toxic, disgusting pile of scum. Stop watching the Doherty Dozen. This is crazy. We've never, like, most, <laughs> I've never seen a family that does this before. Like, do you eat like this? And so a lot of people who probably do eat like this, just like my nightstands. Well, I like to drink and all that. It's probably going to be like up in arms because they eat like this. Guys, I know I'm not the, I'm not the skinniest dude on earth, but I don't eat anywhere like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Josh, you're fat and ugly. I'm like, yeah, well, I grew up eating like this. That's why. Cause that's all we could afford, but she can afford expensive organic, delicious foods that are very good, but she doesn't do it. Again, remember the dopamine hits, right? That's all this is about. This is insane. Sorry for the long video, but you don't care. Anyway, take a deep breath. Okay, Alicia, relax. Just no more sugary drinks. 
Okay, just fruit. You're gonna need to detox for a year before your kids are back to normal. This is insanity. Just those fruit snacks alone were 5,000 calories for one kid of sugar. Not including, and I didn't even include sugar or anything. Oh my God. Somebody help these children. Please, please help these children. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me for the super duper, duper long snark video. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget how amazing you are and valuable you are, and I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow.